ISTQB Foundation Level, Question 233. Which types of failures from 1 to 4 fit which test levels from A to D best? 1. Failures in system behavior as it deviates from the user's business needs. 2. Failures in communication between components. 3. Failures in logic in a module. 4. Failures is not correctly implemented business rules. A. Component testing. B. Component integration testing. C. System testing. D. Acceptance testing. Answers. A. 1 is D. 2 is B. 3 is A. 4 is C. B. 1 is D. 2 is B. 3 is C. 4 is A. C. 1 is B. 2 is A. 3 is D. 4 is C. D. 1 is C. 2 is B. 3 is A. 4 is D. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. Let's look at all the test levels from A to D according to ISTQB syllabus. Test level A, component testing, corresponds to all failures in logic in a module. Statement 3. Failures in logic can be found during component testing. Test level B, component integration testing, corresponds to failures in communication between components. Statement 2. Communication between components is tested during component integration testing. Test level C. System testing corresponds to failures is not correctly implemented business rules. Statement 4. Business rules of the test basis for system testing. Test level D, acceptance testing, corresponds to failures in system behavior, as it deviates from the user's business needs. Statement 1. The test basis for acceptance testing is the user's business needs. In summary, all of the above leads us to the correct answer A. My recommendation. Please remember all the test levels to pass STFL exam. I would recommend memorizing the definitions by heart, but it is better to figure out them at the level of understanding. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 2.2.1 test levels in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that component testing, also known as unit testing, focuses on testing components in isolation. Component integration testing, also known as unit integration testing, focuses on testing the interfaces and interactions between components. System testing focuses on the overall behavior 
and capabilities of an entire system or product. Acceptance testing focuses on validation and on demonstrating readiness for deployment, which means that the system fulfills the user's business needs. This is fully consistent with the correct answer A. I am sincerely sure that you will pass the ISTQB Certified Tester Foundation level exam. If you thoroughly watch through all the questions on my video channel, ISTQB questions. Never give up.